There is less than one week to go before the U.S. midterm elections, which will shape the remaining two years of President Trump's first term in office. For more on this and other news from around the world, let's turn to our Noah Adam. Adam, how are the odds looking for both parties in the House and in the Senate? Well, Mark, opinion polls suggest Democrats are favourites to win the House, while Republicans may maintain control of the Senate. According to a Washington Post Shah School poll across 69 congressional districts identified as competitive in late August, 50% of likely voters support the Democratic can uh, candidate, while 46% support the Republican. The Post says the four percentage point difference is superficial given the polls three and a half percentage point margin of error. However, it does note the finding marks a sharp turn from 2016 when voters in these districts backed Republicans by a margin of 15 percentage points. The paper suggests that with 63 uh, of the battleground districts held by Republicans, that kind of shift in sentiment would be sufficient for Democrats to take control of the House. The hurdle the Democrats face, meanwhile, is voter turnout. The party is usually dogged by low turnout and is at greater risk of falling short of what the candidates need to win races. In terms of campaigns, two main issues are at the forefront of voters' minds. The Democratic Party is focusing its campaign on health care, while the GOP is betting on Trump's harsh rhetoric on immigration to motivate conservative voters. According to CNN, more than 23 million ballots have been cast already in early voting and the rest of the American public will go to the polls next Tuesday. All 435 seats in the House are up for grabs, as well as 35 seats in the Senate and 39 governorships.